This is not some Android watch or even one of those fruit watches. No, listen up, this thing right here, it's a $30 watch that you could snatch up on Amazon right now. And let me tell you, it's got a nifty trick up its sleeve. All those other fancy watches, they can't even dream of doing this yet. But brace yourself, this bad boy, it uses light to read blood sugar levels. I dropped this video about a month ago explaining the science behind the cutting edge technology. And well, today I'm gonna put it to the test and I'm gonna see how it measures up against a real deal blood glucose monitor and the almighty Dexcom G6. So I'm gonna run four tests. I'm gonna run a morning glucose test. I'm gonna do a hypoglycemia test, a hyperglycemia test, and then a steady state test. I'll be using three devices to get accurate readings. So get ready for lots of finger pricks and well, some really intense face-to-face -face competition. At the end of this video, you're gonna have a chance to win this amazing device if you still want it. Let's prick some fingers. First reading of the day showed the Dexcom at 114. It showed the uh, F57L watch at 118. The AccuCheck was at 105. So the Dexcom did have a plus nine. It was inaccurate by that much. And then the watch was a plus 13, which is only four milligrams per deciliter different than the Dexcom. I have since calibrated the Dexcom. Uh, to be fair, this is a new sensor. I wanted to make sure I got a clean reading um, and it had not yet been calibrated. So we'll see how accurate it is now. Second reading of the day, this was after a strenuous workout. It's now 9.18, about two hours from my first reading in the morning. Um, I am currently reading 68 and going low. I don't know if you can see that or not, but my uh, new blow sap has an indicator on it when I'm going low. I wanted to make sure that I caught this at a downward trend and on a low, and I wanted to see whether or not there was a significant difference as to what my readings were gonna be. So again, right now I'm reading the Dexcom at 64 and going low with a downward trend. Let's see what we get our non-invasive smartwatch. It's gonna be measuring right now. So this is reading a 6.82, which is significantly off. 6.8 is 122 milligrams per deciliter. Meanwhile, Dexcom's reading a 64. So let's see what our blood glucose reads. The accurate reading. Sixty-six. So, sixty-six is the exact number. Dex, Dexcom G6 has me at a sixty-four. So we'll write that down. Sixty-four. Actual is a sixty-six. So that is only two off, two milligrams per deciliter off. Meanwhile, we have the smartwatch, the non-invasive smartwatch, at one hundred and twenty-two. That's significantly off. So it makes me wonder, and this is what I wondered at first, is is the smartwatch really that smart or is it just kind of guessing that I'm somewhere in the middle all day long just to say it's kind of accurate? So far this test has been a big indicator that it's not as accurate as I wished it would be. We'll see. The next test I'm gonna do is after lunch, I'm gonna eat a big meal on purpose, for science of course, and uh, I'm gonna see after I go on a, on a high if it reads accurate on the high end. So far, on the low end, not very good. So, we'll see. All right, it is now 12.30. It is three hours past last time I talked to you. I had a big, heavy lunch, which was a burrito bowl with rice and beans. And now my sugar is, uh, whoa, it's that, it's two, I don't know if you can see that, 203 with a sharp up. Anyways, it's 203 with a sharp up and it's angry. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check this again. So what we're gonna do first is check the actual BG. Let's do it on this camera.
183. All right, so surprisingly, it's 183. Hey, if you're a type one, type two, Madi or Lada, and content like this specific for diabetics like you is important, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll do my best to keep you up to date on what's going on in the world of diabetes. And uh, Dexcom says it's 203. So that's off. Let's see what, let's see what the smartwatch says. Six point five. So six point five, according to my little paper here. This one. Uh, six point five is one eighteen. That's way. That's also way off. Um, so that says this says six point five reading through non-invasive laser beams, and that's only one hundred eighteen milligrams per deciliter. Meanwhile. This is telling me I'm at 183, so that's off. They're both off, which is kind of surprising because I know my Dexcom is usually pretty on. So the watch, again, worse than the Dexcom G6. We'll do another test in a couple hours. Okay, so the last blood glucose check was at 12.30, and you saw a lot of differences there. Uh, about an hour later, my blood glucose went back into range, and so now it's been about two hours of good steady blood glucose. So what I'm gonna do is check it again, see what I'm at, uh, how these these watches compare on a steady state. So we'll go to this camera and check the blood glucose. All right, so the AccuCheck is reading 99, and the Dexcom right now is reading 90, 90. So it's about nine off with the Dexcom. We're gonna go ahead and check the non-invasive glucose watch. It uses laser beams, and we'll see how accurate that is. I'm gonna put it over in this camera. .06. All right, so this one is reading 6.06. .06. So if I look at my chart here, it's that's, it, it read just about that three times already today. So far, we've read in the morning. It was uh, a, a morning glucose check. We did uh, after we did after a workout check to see you know if we were getting hypoglycemia what the differences would it be. And then we did one at a high state after lunch um, and hyperglycemia. The one we just did is a steady state. And it seems like the Dexcom is adjusting. It, it's not as accurate as I thought it would be, but this thing is completely inaccurate. Unless you're having a normal steady state day, then I think it guesses that you're pretty much in the middle all the time. Results. Okay, after viewing the results, let's answer the big question. Should you invest in a non-invasive glucose smartwatch? If you're a diabetic, as a working healthcare provider, I cannot in good conscience recommend paying for this device. But you don't have to because I already paid for it and I'm going to give it away. So to enter this month's giveaway and have a shot at winning this watch, all you have to do is drop a comment about what diabetes tech you are currently using. I'll randomly select a winner and ship that smartwatch straight to your door as long as you reside in the good old US of A. Oh, and keep an eye out for my next monthly giveaway video because I'm gonna be giving away one of these puppies. I'm Ben, I'm Type Me. See you next time.